Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will be covering how ISRO scientists have unveiled the secrets of Ram Setu through innovative undersea mapping. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has successfully mapped the submerged structure of Adams Bridge, also known as Ram Setu, an ancient bridge between India and Sri Lanka mentioned in Indian religious texts. The researchers used ISAT-2 data from October 2018 to October 2023 to generate a 10-meter resolution map of the full length of the submerged ridge, sufficient to capture details of the size of a train coach. The detailed underwater map reveals the bridge's continuity from Danushkodi to Talaimanar with a staggering 99.98% of it submerged in shallow waters. According to a study published in the journal Scientific Reports, ISRO scientists used advanced laser technology from a U.S. satellite to create a high-resolution map of the entire length of the submerged ridge. The research team, led by Giribabu Dandabatula, discovered 11 narrow channels that allow water to flow between the Gulf of Manor and Polk Strait and play a crucial role in preserving the structure from sea waves. The study confirms the origins of Adams Bridge or Ram Setu, which was once a land connection between India and Sri Lanka. The findings provide new insights into the region's history and the formation of this ancient structure. History of Adams Bridge New Revelations by ISRO Study The submerged structure was named Adams Bridge by an East India Company mapper. The structure described by Indians as Ram Setu is mentioned in the Ramayana as a bridge constructed by Lord Ram's army in order to help him reach Sri Lanka, Ravana's kingdom, to rescue his wife Sita. Persian navigators in the 9th century AD referred to the bridge as Setu Bandhai, or a bridge over the sea. Temple records from Rameswaram indicate that the bridge was above sea level until 1480, when it was demolished by a powerful storm. Earlier, satellite observations pointed to an undersea construction, but these observations were primarily focused on exposed sections of the bridge. The sea in the area is extremely shallow, ranging from 1 to 10 meters deep in parts, making navigation and ship mapping of the ridge difficult. That's all for this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes. Enjoy them. Please share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.